great week, really, of getting them ready for this point. I think you had your stern face on there. I think I'm like a teacher's <laughs> It was a few there. moments, I have to say, yeah. Yes. yeah. And Christopher being an ex-policeman and everything, I thought this was a dream job for him. So Jane is here with uh, two of her new recruits, that is Oliver, also known as Ollie to his friends, am I right yeah. there? You're and right. Charlotte, is that you get the full title, do you? Yeah, just Charlotte. <laughs> okay, so tell me about these two, how they popped up on your radar. Well, I think Oliver stood out from the beginning because when we went into the school, to talk about the project and you've got like 50, 60 children from the school staring at you talking like, well we're going to put a show on and we're going to skate and who would, who would like to do it? And there's this like moment of silence and nothing happens and he said, oh. Oliver put his hand up and I was like, oh my gosh, it's a boy. The first one's a boy, he's put his hand we'll up. Have him. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll they, have all him. Went up. they all went there you up. Go. Look, that's yes. your lone hand going up there in the assembly. Yeah, that was brave for you. Yeah, have to put your hand up, Ollie. I was just really excited that day. I just like, me, me and all my mates were just like, was messing about, and then we got caught in something, and we were just like, oh, <laughs> told them, you know, in it, maybe we should calm down a bit. But I didn't really <laughs> calm me down, and I, I was just really hyped, and, but I really wanted to do ice skating. You like sport, though, don't you? You do yeah, a lot of sport. sport so. You've never ice skated before? No. No. You see, I totally get what, what you're about. You know what the rest of your year has in store this could be something really different, really magical, really you know, a break from the norm. And, and was it everything you'd hoped for? Yeah, because I, it wasn't just the ice skating, we did a lot more than that. And I think if we just did the ice skating, it would have been good, but it wouldn't have been as good as if we did loads more. Like, it was, like we went on trips, we, we had to do a lot of like business stuff as well. Yeah, I think that's where Charlotte came into her own, because she, up until then, she'd been quietly getting on with the training and so on, and she wanted to be part of the fundraising team, because... You know, we really had to raise a lot of money to explain be able to put on this to show. Us. Okay, so we what we wanted to do was put on a show on the estate where the kids lived and grew up, um, and it was a pop-up rink, an outdoor rink, and and as many people know, ice is expensive to put anywhere, and we didn't take the easy route of using the ice arena there, which is, was right the next door. Um, we wanted to put it on their estate and yeah. make it become their show so how and much their responsibility. Need? We needed 150,000. Well, yeah, Charlotte, what did you do? Invest in that? How can you do that? So how, on that day, Charlotte, Charlotte and Oliver and a couple of the other boys went in, and as soon as they got to the door, they said, "Right, you say it, Charlotte." <laughs> and and suddenly, and what did you what say? Did you do? Talk about how you felt then. I don't know. You just had to think about the team, and if you didn't do it, then who would? And so that's. I picked up a lot of Oliver because he, I don't know, he got a little bit nervous and so I was like, I'm just going to do it, just going to do it, we need this money, we need to put on this show. And, and you got the money. How, how do you get the money? That is a lot of money uh, for people to go and say, well, what's our return on this? I mean, this is serious money that you're talking about there. How did you, did you go and knock doors? How persuasive were you? Who did you use? We went to companies such as Capital One yeah. and, um, of money from Capital One, which we were all amazed and shocked by, and they were so generous and very supportive, so it wouldn't have happened without them. This wasn't, I presume then, just about teaching kids to skate. This is all about other life skills, maybe confidence. Was that the idea behind yeah, it? Yeah, I really? mean, Chris and I um, grew up in Nottingham, and we trained at the, uh, the old ice rink that was, and the nearest estate to that ice rink was St Anne's and Smenton, so we knew of the area. And we felt we wanted to give something back because, you know, we were similar ages. We were growing up and we had this great opportunity to use the local facility and, and train and, you know, the rest is history. And we wanted to go back and, and prove, show the kids that we were just like them when we were growing up. And we had dreams and, and don't be afraid to follow your dreams. And let me ask you this. You are one of the great Olympic heroes, you guys, and what you achieved. And what year are we talking about, Sarah? 84. 84. Is there a big statue to you in Nottingham? Um, there's, there's lots there's, of, uh, there's, an, there's a whole estate named after us. Well, there, right, that's good, that's good. So what I want to know, did you know her and Christopher outside of Dancing on Ice? No. No. See? But oh. now you do know them and everything, and you've worked with them. Do you understand everything they went through to get where they got at your age, starting at your age? You kind of feel like you know them.